we're starting our series of seven days of no spending money and find out why we celebrate Valentine's Day and how to do it on a budget. Thanks for joining us on our channel. Come and meet our family before we get started. My husband's name is Brian and my name is Keely and we're so glad you're here. This is Leilani, the oldest of the three kids we have. And this is Piper, our middle daughter. She's full of spunk. And our youngest is Madeline. And this is our sweet boy, Tommy. That makes us the Conley family. Okay, so it's really early, 4.30 in the morning, and I just got done doing my devotions and I figured now's a good time for me to go ahead and prep some food for today because well I just can't get it done some days with the kids so we're gonna get started on the oatmeal raisin chocolate chip cookies. I will try and talk as loud as I can without waking everyone up. All right so I'm gonna preheat the oven. All there's left. <laughs> so we're at the beginning of this seven day no spend challenge. That's going to include no gas money, no spending money on food. We have the money, but we're going to be putting it aside to pay medical bills as they come in since we know we have a lot. And any extra would be used to help cover the gas and food for when we have to go to our daughter's next doctor's appointments. And since it's such a long drive, we don't own credit cards and we need to be able to have the cash to do that. So this was an easy way for us to force me to cook and make sure that we're saving every penny we can so that we don't end up in credit card debt ever again. But also without touching our emergency fund, which is from Baby Step One. So right now I'm just adding all the ingredients that are dry for the cookies and getting them mixed together. Well, here's almost all of the dry mix, and then the next thing that I'll do when the kids wake up is go ahead and melt butter and or coconut oil, whatever I decide to use, and add the rest of the wet ingredients and mix them together to make our cookies. I don't like following recipes all the way, like adding some flair to them to fit our family and what we need, so this recipe does not call for sugar-free chocolate chips or walnuts, but we're going to add them anyhow. Look at how beautiful they came out. So this is going to be a video compilation of an entire week of spending no money on groceries and only making do with what we have. I just woke up after going back to bed from starting the cookies and those cookies will be our snack and dessert for today. After that is finished and we've tidied up the house a little bit, what I will go ahead and do is I'm going to prep some pancake stuff that I have on hand right here. Um, and I do like a sheet pan pancake, I will show that, and that will be our start for today. That will be used for breakfast tomorrow, and then we will work on dinner and make my plan for how we're gonna spend no money on food this week and get by, eat good food, and be blessed. So for breakfast day one, we're all having strawberry banana smoothies a little bit of Greek yogurt in them and some protein powder. Um, all stuff we had on hand, we're going to be using the freezer a lot, utilizing the things that are in there that kind of just get forgotten about. Cookies are done. So here is what our pantry looks like right now. We are going to utilize every ounce of it that we can. Now, of course, the hope is that we will spend no money. We'll be able to save it all. But if we need almond milk or eggs or something that are essential, then we'll just buy that singular item, the little small market we have here in our town. And that'll be the limit of what we get. But this just lets you to see where we're at now and what it's going to look like at the end of the seven days, which I can bet you it'll be empty. Lunch is cooking right now because we are going to stick with this no spend and get ready to pay some medical bills. So I have some brown rice in the pressure cooker right now and when it's finished I'm going to add some tomato paste, salsa, and some taco seasoning and onion. Create a faux Spanish rice for us to use and make burritos with these refried beans. We don't have a whole lot of Valentine's decorations, but this is what we do have. We wanted to show you it because we do enjoy it. This is a special time for our family. 
that's gonna get fixed we just kind of threw that up there today this is one of the things that i made and well actually all this stuff is stuff that we've made and or bought at the dollar store so we have to kind of rearrange it because it gets smushed every year that it's in a tub but we have an actual valentine's vase this year that and then we have to hang this up of the so girls tell me what your favorite thing about valentine's day is so leilani what is your favorite part about how we celebrate valentine's i like giving kisses and hugs <laughs> that's not really part of our celebration but that is a nice part I like hugs and kisses. <laughs> it does say hugs and kisses yeah. piper what's your favorite part about how we celebrate valentine's day Valentine's Day. And on Valentine's Day, we choose a meal, Piper, <laughs> and a menu that we all agree on, and we make a big special dinner. Um, typically, it is spaghetti and bread and vegetables okay. because that's just a favorite mm, in our house. <laughs> my favorite. But we do that, and we do a name exchange. So everybody puts a name in a hat. We all choose and draw one. Yeah, and then we get a puzzle. We and, get to puzzle. Yep. How we keep it on a budget for our family, especially this year since it's going to be extra tight, is we will set a budget. So this year's budget will be at the Dollar Tree, and there's nothing wrong with that. And so we would each go in with one of the parents. The kids will go up individually so that no one sees what they're getting each other. And then we wrap them up, and we give them to each other on Valentine's Day. It's just a special little way that we choose to celebrate. And it's a good time, and we're thankful for it. But it... <laughs> It allows us to appreciate each other and talk about what we're grateful for and what we love, the character in each other, and it is a true blessing to us to celebrate that way, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and my study. I just, want, I just <laughs> want to get Piper every year, but I don't. So that's how we celebrate our Valentine's Day. A little bit of decorations, a great meal together as a family. And we put Tiny and Tommy on. <laughs> yeah, we get something for the cat or dog. So we're looking forward to our celebration coming up here in a couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm sure we're going to do some arts and crafts for Valentine's together. And, right now. Well, not right now, but together. And we'll make a special dessert as a family. And that'll just be a good time. But also it gives us the opportunity to remember and think on all of Christ, what he's done for us, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good day to remember just how much we're loved. So this is what it looks like when it's done and just add tomato paste taco seasoning and salsa to taste that's so good today i got my first organizing job i posted in a previous video that i'm putting myself out there to clean and organize for people so that i can help with medical bills and whatever else our family needs right now and to the back and forth with the doctors and be able to pay for it all with cash and so today i start my first job and i'm so exciting it's a um, organizing job and she described it as like deep clutter removal and organization so I'm very excited about that so thankful the Lord has provided it and if I can get some before and afters I will add them into one of these videos coming up this week and that's really all for today we'll be doing a roast in the pressure cooker for dinner with some vegetables when my husband gets home from work to eat with the kids and then I'll be leaving as soon as he's home so thank you guys for watching we're just loving being able to share life and hopefully being an encouragement to people so that's pretty much it for today if you would like and subscribe we would greatly appreciate it um we want you to be able to see anything that we put out that you may be interested in coming up this week we're going to continue with these no spend meals and everything coming out of the pantry and there's going to be some creative and unique foods kind of like our own little episode of chopped <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow guys have a great day bye